hello guys uh, welcome to this video so in this video i will show you uh, how i built this react chess image cropper kind of an application i'm running it inside local host uh, we have a simple user interface where we allow the user to simply select a image file that they want to crop so as soon as you select the image you will be able to zoom on a particular section or just select it using your mouse just move it and whichever portion you want to do it you can also use the scroll here you can even rotate your image at any angle zoom in and then just simply click the crop button so as soon as you will crop the button you will see the image will be cropped with light preview and now we have the download button to download the cropped image so in this easy way uh, this is actually a react image cropper a single page application you simply select whichever image that you want to crop you simply select the portion you can zoom in you can even rotate and then click crop so i will show you in this video how i built this application so for building this application we have used a open source package of react chess specifically built for cropping image the name of the package is react image cropper uh, this is the name of the uh, library and we are using this package sorry not this one which is react easy crop react easy crop this is actually the name of the library it's a very famous uh, package of react chairs to crop images it's almost caught for 477000 weekly downloads so simple command simply install this and now let me show you how to code this so So first of all we start this application by simply making a functional component and then we actually import this package by using the import line right at the very top so we say import proper which will be coming from this package here so simply import this package first of all and then right here we need to declare some state variables for our project first of all for for the input image so we are using this u state hook initial value will be empty then we have the crop here x coordinate y coordinate will be 0 then the zoom level which is initial value will be 1 rotation initial angle will be 0 cropped pixels u state null so to actually store the cropping image then we have a variable for storing the cropped image if any sort of error take place we have a variable for that as well and then lastly the file input reference these are all the variables which are needed for this application and now we come actually to the jsx and for building this we are using some tailwind css so i have already included the cdn for tailwind css so simply include this and all the source code of this application will be given in the description of this video so right here we will have this condition right here if the image and uh, cropped image is not there in that case we need to show a section to the user uh, where we will yeah i think we need to show
So right here uh, we will first of all we will be doing this so we will be having this input field where we allow the user to simply select we need to close this let me just paste it and explain to you what is happening So this is actually, if you see, inside your Tailwind CSS, we have this input field, input type file, and we are binding this on file change function. As soon as you select a image file from your computer, this function will execute. So we actually defined this function, if you see, on file change. So right here we actually are reading the file here by using the file reader API and loading this image, setting this image right here. And then we are calling this set cropped image function. So we simply see this input file button, then we simply select and uh, if you see we can zoom, change it. So we actually binded this download cropped image button, so as soon as you click this button this function executes. So inside this function, we are actually creating an anchor tag. We are downloading this image as an attachment. Very simple stuff. And for selecting a new image, we are basically uh, doing this, setting the crop to 0, 0. And this is actually the main function, get cropped image. So we are passing the input image, the pixel, rotation, all these angles. Then we are using the canvas drawing the image on the canvas here and then you can see we are using the draw image function to draw the image on the canvas getting the image data and then we are returning the canvas to data url like this so this is the main function for cropping the image and for doing this if you see so this is actually the full code guys if you see we are using this package at the very top which is cropper so this component allows us to show the live preview so this is actually the component here cropper it takes the input image then the actual cropping then the zoom level aspect ratio 4 by 3 you can even change this aspect ratio to any aspect ratio and then we have a set of callback functions that you see this library supports on crop change so this executes whenever you're done with your cropping on crop complete executes when the cropping is complete and then on zoom change set zoom and then we also pass in the rotation angle so these functions execute so once you select your input file here so as soon as you are cropping your image, adjusting the control. So when, whenever you are done, you click this button crop image. So this callback function will execute on crop complete. So we defined all these functions. If you check set crop function, on crop complete, 
So on crop complete executes and set cropped area pixels. So setting this. So this is the entire application, guys. Uh, the link is given in the description. You can get the full source code. And we have built it. Uh, React Easy Crop. This is a package we have used it. And also check out my website freemediatools.com which contains thousands of tools regarding audio, video and image.